Alright guys, welcome. If you're like if you're binging my channel, then welcome back. This is literally like my second corrupted era monster review today. A Frozy Knot. She was a battle pass exclusive back in the day, so I just never got her. This is the first time I saw her very easily accessible, so I snapped her up. And that sun in her staff looks really cool. I got two relic slots, rune slots, unlocked. I don't know her moveset, I think she's like cleanse damage reduction, so I'm just gonna put her in here for now, unless she's OP, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna rank her up, and then I'll take her out. But like, I don't rank, I haven't even ranked, whoa, okay, that's awesome. She's got an awesome finisher. Frozy not. this alien witch woke up after many years frozen... <coughs> in the north pole of Petra. She comes searching for remedies to cure her species illness that and hadn't been able to bear the low temperatures up there. But now that she's reawakened with new strength, Frozina is determined to complete her mission. Alright. So she's in the winter books. Ooh, that's really nice because there's not many good options in the winter books. Mechanical and female. Okay. So I don't know how I feel about this. I think this is a really, really great trait, but also kind of weak. So blind. Actually, something that we see a lot of now. So maybe it's better. It gives immunity to blind. I'm not sure what she does, but if it is positive effect removal, then you definitely want immunity to blind. Immune to control. Yeah, just immune to every single control which for those of you guys who um knew about the bug that i found out about like i'm not saying i found out about a bug and like i told everybody but like i had found a bug when i was playing the first like week of the blossom era that roots was bypassing like it was bypassing immune to control and artifact well they fixed it so immune to control is still immune to control to everything and status caster self evasion. Man, this is uh this is really great actually for a for a corrupted era monster. For it, like how glass cannon she is. For it to just be like, hey, okay, don't worry, you're not gonna get AoE swipe. <coughs> really nice. And she's earth element, so she's good, then you can use her in an element that doesn't get used too much. Unless you're talking about King Autumn. So, yeah. Funnily enough, I just did my review of uh, Crew Electric, and I feel like they have like the same speed stat because they were both like, oh, this attacker has the high speed stat in the game, and this guy has the high speed stat in the game. So, you know, they're all like up there. But I think that's a good thing. I never got ZHC, though. I'm waiting for the event they give him away. They're probably going to sponsor another ZHC video. Oh, what I say? Didn't I say? Positive effect removal. But the fact that that's a zero stamina, zero cooldown, that's... That would be really, I feel like, OP if she was the fastest monster in the game still. But now that she's like... 50th or something? I don't know. Really great design though, it looks like something out of Stranger Things, like they put a lot of effort into this one. Her armor looks dusty and she's holding like a literal sun in her very unique looking staff, you know, love the design gotta say. So first, her finisher, Colony Swarm, deals insane earth damage to all, total damage reduction, total blind and vulnerable, okay. So. That's pretty great finisher. Quantum, no, sorry. Alien infection. Low special damage to one enemy. Applies a random elemental weakness to one enemy. Zero stamina, zero cooldown. You know what? Elemental weaknesses are a lot stronger now. I'll give it a pass. Molecular, molecular burst. Low earth damage to one enemy. Applies major damage reduction. A lot of zero stamina, zero cooldown moves, right? Deals low earth damage to all, applies major damage reduction to all. Um, 
you know, I really feel the pain of major damage reduction in the, like, with the Bloom area mostly. <laughs> in the Corrupted Brink of Survival Dungeon. Probe Blast. Zero stamina, zero cooldown, low light damage. And then per Evasion to itself, dazed to enemies. I love this. You know, if they literally, if you're facing another one, another Frozzy knot, you could daze them. So they have a low chance of removing your evasion to kill you. Plus, you're probably dazing an attacker too. Neural inhibitor. Moderate light damage, major damage reduction, and vulnerable to one enemy. Uh, personally, I think this is pretty good, right? Just as vulnerable, probably. Oh, I like this. Deals moderate special damage to all enemies. Applies two random elemental weaknesses to all enemies. Removes positive effects from all enemies. Now, if it had <coughs> three, sin three cooldown, 36 stamina. Let me say, if this had done it in the opposite order, this would have been such a great move. Like, removes positive effects, then makes them weak, then blows them up. Oh, uh, would have been a lot cooler. And the final one, Quantum Lock. Deals moderate earth damage to one enemy, applies total damage reduction, vulnerable, and positive effect block to one enemy. 25 stamina, 2 cooldown. Hmm. So how do I feel about this monster? It's a purr guy. <coughs> so, it's a purr monster that can give itself evasion, reduce enemies' damage output, give them vulnerable and weakness so they're dying quicker, quickly, and removing positive effects with the potential for a slight, slight deny in damage reduction. Um, I don't know. They gave you some nice mechanics, but I'm not sure if that is enough. You know, I knew she'd be wearing a staff, but I'm not sure what that trap is. Kind of funny, though, because her face kind of looks like a trap. So, yeah, obviously stamina, stamina. Or if you want to, you could do, like, stamina and then on the trap just do wormholes for great damage back but yeah um not much more to say here Druids, sis, because they both kind of look alike. Anyways, that'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Leave your comments on this monster or just anything in general <coughs> down in the comment below. In the comments below. Subscribe to join the Crab Army, and uh, that's pretty much it. Your favorite Omni is Crab, signing out.